Hello again, and welcome to a quite good trial considering everything else. So, you know, Shuichi and Kokichi planned the. Not Shuichi and Kokichi, Kokichi and Kaito planned the murder together for some reason. So I guess now we'll find out what it is. Maki could only see so much through the window. She didn't confirm Kokichi drank it. I believe that Kokichi knew this and just pretended to drink the antidote. After Maki left, he gave the antidote to Kaito. There's a strong possibility that all of this was done to make Kaito cooperate. Yeah. Make him cooperate? The swapping trick required the victim and culprit to work together. Kaito's cooperation was essential to Kokichi's plan. However, I don't think Kokichi would be able to sway Kaito easily. He needed leverage. He gave Kaito the antidote in exchange for his cooperation. In exchange for his own life, you mean? Kaito had no choice. He had to cooperate after Kokichi saved his life. That's just Kaito's character. And Kokichi knew that. Oh god, that camera is freaking out. He swallowed his pride with the antidote. And agreed to participate in Kokichi's plan. But didn't Kokichi make this plan? What good is it for him if he's dead? I imagine this was all part of Kokichi's plan to confuse us. You wouldn't think that someone would plan their own murder. He went so far as to give up his life just to create this mystery? Yeah. Only Kokichi could think of something so nefarious. Who else would agree to die? just to execute their plan. Crazy. Why would he go that far? So this is the second time someone has sacrificed themselves to accomplish a plan that they will never see done to the end. Like, in the second game it also happened. I bet Kokichi was determined to beat me at my own game, no matter what! But too bad! Shuichi figured out the truth! Truth? Are you sure it's not delusion? Delusion? A delusion completely off the mark. To make you think that I die. But who cares what you guys think? This is between me and Monokuma. I don't give a crap if the extras in this game get it right or not. Extras? I'm fine with being an extra. Okay. Huh? Why? If we're just extras, then even if we get it wrong, we won't get killed. No, I'd still kill you all. Don't put Kokichi's words in my mouth. <laughs> no, I'd still kill you all. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Huh? But why? You are being so friendly with us. If Monokuma gets it right, then he takes everyone's lives, yeah? But if Monokuma gets it wrong, then he'd have no right to take everyone's lives. If Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is, then this killing game can't function anymore. Can't function anymore? Kaito, I believe in you. Mm -hmm. If you're cooperating with this plan, you must have a reason. To determine that reason, I need to reveal the truth instead of just playing with it and fucking up Monokuma in this killing game. Okay. I still think Kaito is the culprit. Thinking of it that way makes all the pieces fit. I will show you the truth. The truth you can't deny. Okay. What I have? Uh... Electro bomb, trail of blood, an exosol inside the anger, the only antidote, hit the exosol. Okay. That. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think we should take from the culprit. Uh, 
after Maki left. Or open did Kokichi take out? Okay. Who actually drank? Why haven't the couple leave in the bathroom? Why was Kokichi dragged along the ground? Oh, because he was fucking poisoned. The culprit in the press. Drink the antidote. Assemble the crossbow. Kokichi in the press. Okay, so he put himself in the press. Then he put Kichi in the press. I think these are earlier ones. This one is... Yeah, and then he assembled the crossbow. Here. Okay, uh... Culprit's left arm. Where did the culprit shoot Kokichi? So it wasn't the back, it was the right arm, I think. Yeah, okay. Who was hit by f first arrow? Michael fired. Was him in the back? Was hit by the second arrow? Was him in the left arm? Whatever said the culprit leave in the bathroom. Three arrows? Yeah, the three arrows, because he's still dressed in this point. This is the truth of the case. Dang it, Rumpa. Let's go over the trick that Kokichi and the culprit created together. Last night, Kibo saw Himiko from the window of his lab. She was carrying a black case and heading to the Exosol hangar. When she reached the hangar, she handed the case to someone through the bathroom window. I do love the song. That someone is the culprit of this case. Locked in the bathroom, the culprit had asked Himiko to bring them a certain weapon. A disassembled crossbow from Maki's lab. The culprit was going to use the crossbow to challenge Kokichi to a fight. Some time passed, and Maki made her way to the hangar. She was going to the hangar to kill Kokichi and save the culprit trapped in the bathroom. However, the hangar had an electric barrier preventing her from entering. Fortunately for her, she had an electro hammer to get around the barrier, in a way. She used her electro hammer to disable an exosol and climbed inside. She knew exosols could bypass the barrier, so she got inside one. Around that time, the culprit and Kokichi began their confrontation. While Kokichi was checking up on them, the culprit ambushed him with a crossbow. But the culprit didn't intend to kill Kokichi. They just wanted to disable him. That's why the culprit aimed for Kokichi's right arm. If they really wanted to kill him, they would have shot him in his vitals. Kokichi reeled from the arrow, and the culprit jumped on him immediately. He didn't want Kokichi to have the chance to summon an exosol with a remote. While they were fighting, something happened that caught them both off guard. The shutter of the hangar opened, and an exosol stepped inside. 
Kokichi was definitely not expecting an Exosaw to interrupt them. He pulled out his remote in an attempt to control the Exosaw. But Maki leaped out of the cockpit and shot Kokichi with her crossbow. The arrow hit Kokichi right in the back, and it was no normal arrow. The tip was covered in a lethal poison from my lab called Strike 9 Poison. The poison Strike slowly. 9. It seems as if Maki wanted Kokichi to confess before he died. But even with poison in his veins, Kokichi continued to spin his lies. When she had had enough, Maki tried to finish him off with another poisoned arrow. But this time, Maki was the one caught by surprise. To keep Maki from becoming the Black Imp, the culprit used their body to shield Kokichi. How would that... She would still be the Black Imp. The culprit's left arm was struck by a poison arrow. In the whole contest, she wouldn't, but he Maki doesn't know the whole contest of the future. immediately ran off to get it. The Strike 9 poison slowly circulated through their systems and would soon kill them both. But in that desperate situation, Kokichi thought up a clever lie. He incorporated this unforeseen event into his plan to help him win the killing game. Or should I say, help him defeat Monokuma? That was Kokichi's true objective. It's why he claimed to be the mastermind. Thinking fast, Kokichi closed the shutter so that Maki could not re-enter the hangar. Thus, Kokichi's final lie was set into motion. When Maki returned with the antidote, she couldn't get back inside the hangar. Like, you're telling me he, in the moment, got struck with poison and came up with this genius idea of doing a murder where Monokuma himself couldn't even tell, like... Sure, yeah, let's go with that. Mm -hmm. So she went around to the hangar bathroom and passed the antidote through the window. At least from what I remember of 1 and 2, it seemed more pre premeditated, and the ones that weren't showed or had outside influence. Like, this, this just seems too on the nose, I feel like. Was given the antidote, Kokichi immediately snatched it. Like, I'm not defending one and two as perfect games. I think they were pretty good games, but I feel like they were better than this in a way, in terms of their logic, even if the logic is flawed in a lot of cases. Kokichi drank down all of the antidote while the culprit and Maki watched in horror. Maki must have been panicking, thinking the only antidote was now gone. She believed that the culprit was going to die from her own poisoned arrow. But it was all another one of Kokichi's lies. He had only pretended to drink the antidote. Maki tried desperately to break into the hangar, even slashing the control panel. But she couldn't get the shutter to open again. Defeated, she had no choice but to leave. After Maki had left, Kokichi took out another weapon. An electrobar capable of disabling communication devices for hours. Kokichi's plan was to use an electrobomb to knock out Monokuma's surveillance cameras. That was why he commissioned Mew to make the bombs in the first place. After detonating an electrobomb, Kokichi coerced the culprit into drinking the antidote. In exchange for the antidote, Kokichi asked the culprit to cooperate with his plan. Kokichi needed to work with the culprit to execute his final lie.
Under normal circumstances, the culprit would never have agreed to such a plan. But because the culprit owed him for saving their life, they agreed to Kokichi's request. Ah, request is a generous term. It was more like blackmail. In any case, the two were now working together as accomplices in an insane plan. It was less about like agreeing more in blackmail. It was more like, you know, if I die, Maki would be the blacken. So to prevent Maki from being the blacken, you have to help me, basically. There was a lot to prepare and not a lot of time. They had to work fast. If Kokichi died from the Strike 9 poison, the whole plan would be ruined. After fabricating the scene in the bathroom, the culprit dragged Kokichi to the hydraulic press. This is how the swipe pattern bloodstain from the bathroom to the press was created. Okay, so it was missing from the animation as an oversight. Kokichi the support of the culprit stood in front of the press's control panel the two of them were finally ready to execute the insane lie i mean bolds of him to trust kokichi not to just kill him there but okay while kokichi was setting up the video camera near the hydraulic press's control panel the culprit laid face up inside the press draping their coat over their shoulders Then, Kokichi activated the press and the camera's record button at the same time. The hydraulic press came down slowly, all caught on tape for us to see. Normally, the safety function would have triggered, but the electrobomb had disabled it. The press got lower and lower, and just as the culprit disappeared from view, Kokichi pressed the force stop button and the camera's pause button simultaneously. The two then switched places and also switched roles. The culprit and the victim. The would-be victim became our culprit and started up the press and camera. Kokichi had saved the culprit's life because his trick required their cooperation. He wanted to win the killing game, even if it meant dying himself. And so, Kokichi was crushed by the press, and the whole thing was caught on video. Can't, can't we for one game just have a guy that wants to win the killing game by not killing themselves? Like, I would love that, please. Well, I guess technically that was fucking Togami. The culprit's left sleeve was dangling from the press, making us think he was the victim. Now alone, the culprit collected the video camera. And tore the hydraulic press's power cord so that it could never be raised again. This would make it impossible for us to determine the identity of the crushed body. But there was another reason the victim was killed in this way. It obfuscated the cause of death, making the case that much more difficult to solve. This was all part of Kokichi's plan to create a murder not even Monokuma could figure out. With the press disabled, the culprit returned to the bathroom to flush Kokichi's clothes. Finally, they climbed inside of an exosol to hide and waited with bated breath. And here they are now in this trial, pretending to be Kokichi. They're trying to deceive Monokuma in order to defeat the true mastermind. And I didn't let them get away with it. And that's it. That's Kokichi's unidentified culprit trick. I like that pose. The culprit is in that exosol. It's you, isn't it? Kokichi. 
Kato Momota, <laughs> the ultimate astronaut. Yes, I'm sure he's laughing inside that fucking exosol. I'm right, aren't I? That's you in there, isn't it, Kaito? Really? Is it really, Kaito? I must reluctantly agree with Shuichi's deduction. Man! Shuichi sure loves his crazy deductions! Huh? Gonna admit it? Admit it? But it's wrong. But logically speaking, his deduction tracks. If it's really Kaito in there, he would have admitted it by now. Was Shuichi's reasoning wrong somehow? No. No, my detective work was flawless, it's the truth. I'm sure that Kaito is inside that exosol. So why is Kaito still fighting me? Is this about Monokuma, or is there another aspect to this? You claim everything is set, and that's it. You don't have any evidence, do you? You all think the body was switched when the hydraulic press stopped for a moment. But that's just speculation in the end. No evidence to back it up. So, if we reverse our reverse way of thinking, then it's likely I didn't do anything, right? It's totally possible that the body switching never happened and Kaito is dead. Not just possible, it's the actual truth. What, well, you sure doing your Zaxisol? Well, it's true, there's no proof that the bodies were switched. No, we should trust Shuichi's deduction. I'm sure everything will be okay. This emotion I've learned, I believe you call it faith. That's what I feel right now. That's right. We have to believe in Shuichi. Well, I don't care either way. But if you guys get it wrong, you'll have to deal with Monokuma. What will the results of this voting time be? If Monokuma makes a mistake, he won't be able to execute anyone. Right? Then it will be my victory. And that will ruin the entire killing. Ruin? I see, so that's your objective. You mean to ruin the killing game itself. <laughs> that's why Kaito has been so stubborn all this time. What do you mean? Did you figure it out? He was just following his plan because, yeah, fuck it. I have to do this now so I don't die. No, he's just... He's also trying to ruin it. But what does he mean by ruin, exactly? Monokuma can do whatever he wants, the rules. How can you ruin something like that? What could be the point? Start the voting already. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to it. Sheesh! Let's proceed with voting time, shall we? Sorry I fell short of your expectations, but I'm pretty sure I won't make any mistakes. Because I got the ultimate detective's airtight logic on my side. Now I know the whole truth and why. I believed in... I believe in my own logic and I believe in Kaito. From this point on, it's not about logic. It's about how far I'm willing to go. I believe in you, Kaito, not as a detective, but as Shuichi Sayara. Uh, can I just say something? I'd like to have one last conversation before we vote. Hmm? One last conversation? What's happening? There's more to talk about? You see, before we vote, there's something I have to say. I just need you all to listen. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right, let's pin this down. Who is inside that exosol? You? Kaito, right? That's what you said, isn't it? Kokichi's the one who died. And the culprit is Kaito standing right there. Isn't that correct? Do we have to lie? <laughs> of course not. I would never die. I trust Shuichi. 
Penta's trying to ruin the game, that's why he's hiding the truth. I don't know exactly why, but he's putting his life online for it. So to put my faith in him, this is the only way. Everything good with the turn map now, what if I turn it all on its head? What can I lie? Can't lie about that. Can't lie about that. Can't lie about that. Can't lie about that. I forgot which bullets I had. I think that was used. I think one of them was. Oh shit! Yes, I need to lie. All right, let's pin this down. Who is inside that exosol? You, Kaito, right? That's what you said, isn't it? Kokichi's the one who died. Wait. And the culprit is Kaito standing right there. Isn't that correct? <laughs> of course not. I would never die. I trust Shuichi. Yeah, that's the only point that I have. Uh, okay. All right, let's pin this down. Who is inside that exosol? Hmm? Kaito, right? That's what you said, isn't it? Kokichi's the one. I'll reveal the truth. Perjury. <laughs> Kokichi, I'm sorry. I just can't lie for you anymore. What? What do you mean, lie? Here we go. Why did you say Kokichi? The one in the Exosol is... I'm so sorry, everyone. I've deceived you all. <laughs> that was a good lie, my dude. Huh? The truth is, after we found the crushed body, I... saw Kokichi. You saw Kokichi? Yes. He threatened me, told me that if I didn't do what he said, he'd kill us all. He wanted me to lie about what I saw. So that the trial would be more interesting. But I can't do it anymore. I can't keep lying like this. I have to tell the truth. Ah, uh, this this is like the trial in the first one where you have to believe your friends. Ah. Uh. Kokichi isn't dead. He's alive. Oh, hold on. Why did you wait until now to mention this? I'm so sorry, Kibo, but it's true. Really? I really am sorry, but this is the only way. Kaito is trying to fool Monokuma, trying to ruin the class trial. If Kaito is risking his life to do this, then I'll stand by him. I believe in Kaito. I'll believe in what he's trying to do. He's not doing this to hurt us. I'm sure he's trying to save us all. Damn! If Monokuma wants to rely on my detective work, fine. I'll just lie. Everyone, please. Don't vote for Kaito. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi is in that exosol. He's the culprit. Hey, Shuichi. I don't know what you're scheming. But as far as I'm concerned, you guys aren't extras at all. If you guys are wrong, you're gonna have to take your punishments like champs. Got it? I'm not wrong. We can't vote for Kaito. Stop it. That's enough. Huh? It's over. If you guys get it wrong and Monokuma gets it right, then you'll all get punished. There's but, no way I can let that happen. But if we keep pretending, he still doesn't know the truth, Kaido. So, it's fine. Let's end this. Oh, come on. That was disappointing. So, it really was you? What, what was the point of that then? Oh. For tricking you, guys. I'll explain everything. you gave me so much hope, game. But before that, it's voting time. Alright, don't get it wrong. I'm definitely the culprit. You got it? 
I'm the one who killed Kokichi. Kaito, no! It's just like you to figure it all out, Shuichi. You're really something else. So all you gotta do is believe in your reasoning. That's what detectives do. Hey, Monokuma, let's hurry up and get this vote started! <laughs> well said. Let's get this started then. I like how everyone in the audience is like, um, so what are we believing now? <laughs> the heart racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face off. It's voting time. I mean, I could still just not vote for him, you know. Fucking hell. Seems the voting has finished. Now then, let's see the result. It was me, Barry. It was me. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice? Or the dreadfully wrong one. Like, at least stick with the fucking plan. There's the fucking mine. It's always the fucking mine. Well, well if the culprit's gonna confess, then I guess even morons can screw this up. The black and who killed Kukichi Oma is Kaito Momota. You all got it right. Why then did we do that last bit? You gave me so much hope. That really soured my experience with this trial. So you all got it right, huh? Even Shuichi and Makiro voted for me. What a relief. Well, I knew you guys wouldn't get it wrong. But you know, A man was a heart act like a Kichi the whole time. I mean, sure, he wrote most of his own lines. Jeez. Seriously, let's look at this huge script. He wrote the whole thing. It's even got a bunch of alternate lines for different events, too. Huh. But even so, I still had to ad-lib. You guys couldn't tell, though, right? Come on, man. Hey, come on, guys. Don't look so sad. You guys got it right. It's all good. Why, why did you kill Kokichi? You were against the killing game, so why did you kill him? I believe that you absolutely wouldn't do such a thing. Maki. Is she protecting Kaito or just believing in him like me? That's right. Yeah, I should explain. Most of it most of it's just like Shuichi said. After Kokichi pretended to take the antidote, he gave it to me. I mean Then he told me I had to to cooperate with his plan. Plan? What plan? <laughs> I've been thinking this whole time of, of a plan to throw the mastermind off guard. What? Throw them off guard? What are you talking about? You're the mastermind. Ah. Oh, um, that was a lie. I only pretended to be the mastermind. What? Pretended? You all fell for it, but you know, I prepared a bunch of stuff. Like this remote control, I had Mio make it. Mysterious message in the courtyard using Gonta and making him a murder. All the preparations were just to make you guys think I was the mastermind. What? what the hell? Why'd you do all that? The reason why I pretended to be the mastermind Shit! was to end this boring killing game. Huh? To end it? Yeah. I thought if I showed you the despairing truth, you guys wouldn't want to go outside anymore. I thought it would end the killing game. But instead, this happened. 
I'm gonna die by Makizans because I kidnapped you in front of her because I was playing a role and I'm an idiot. Why do you think this happened? Why do you think Maki tried to kill me? Why do you think the killer game started again? What? Why? Because oh, the true mastermind instigated it. I'm certain of it. They made a move without us noticing. Man, thanks for that. Everything's ruined. It's because you fucked it up. Hold on. The true mastermind instigated? Oh, was it the flashback light? Hmm. So whoever that person is, they also instigated Maka's action too? Yeah, they probably tried to eliminate me because I pretended to be the mastermind. My actions were instigated by the true mastermind. But that can't be. The reason I decided to kill Kokichi was because I remembered the truth from the flashback light. Could it be? Maybe making you remember the truth was what the mastermind wanted. Huh? What? Hmm. Maybe the true mastermind had us use the flashback lights so that we could target Kokichi as a remnant of the spare. Which means... So the flashback light itself was a true mastermind's trap all along. They expected us to target Kokichi once we remembered that he was a remnant of the spare. Okay. Kokichi certainly expected it, that's why he talked about the true mastermind. But even so, this is all rather inconvenient for the true mastermind. The person claiming to be the mastermind just so happened to be a remnant of the spare. We're all students of Ope Speak Academy and our fates are tied to the remnants of the spare. I never would have imagined that fate would bring us to Kokichi's murder. It just plays too nicely for the true mastermind. Hmm. Didn't know about the flashback light. Guess that's another mystery for you. I mean, anyway, like I was saying. You know, and who is this true mastermind? Hmm. Who knows? I don't know either. But... but it doesn't matter. We can't lose. This game is pointless unless you win. That's why I thought of a special plan. When I'm on the verge of losing, <laughs> my plan will help me win. I don't really get it, but is this the plan to throw off the mastermind? Well, it's not that difficult. Kaito, I need you <laughs> to kill me. What? what? I mean, The plan was to make a case where the victim was unknown. And then trick Monokuma into thinking I was the victim so he'd mess up. If he ruled that either Bakiroll or Kokichi were the blackened, then I'd show myself that Monokuma's ruling would be invalid. And if Monokuma's ruling was invalid, the killing game would end. But That's what I'm most curious about. What makes you think it would end? That's right. Yeah, I asked Kokichi about that myself. Why would Monokuma care if he messed up on who the Blacken was? And this is what he said. Well, you know. Even if it's Monokuma or the true mastermind, they can't break the rules as they please. Being unfair like that isn't allowed. Hold up. What do you mean? Death games are meant to be watched. Oh my god, I was right. <laughs> you kidding me? If no one was watching, there would be no reason to be such a stickler for about the rules. Yeah, it's like the first one all over again. There would be no point in making this a game in the first place. But... Bonokum has been a stickler about the rules and about making the game interesting. That's why he agreed to my plan in the virtual world. Which means... Which means Monokuma is aware that someone is watching us. In which case, I have no doubt that this death game is being shown to someone. What did you say? So this is some kind of show. But... Who would be watching? We're the only people left alive, aren't we? Yeah. That's right. The flashback like is the reason we even remember that. Nah. Okishi might have been right. Why have, a, why have a death game if no one's watching? I wasn't sure about it at first, but after this class trial, there's no doubt. Monokuma can't do whatever he wants. He's bound by the rules of the game. That's why he couldn't afford to get the culprit wrong. Why he relied on Shuichi. Yeah. And I fucked up that plan. <laughs> it's just like Gokichi said. If this game's rules matter so much, someone's watching. That game is made to be watched. If that's true, then who? Who is watching this? Hey. What's this all about Monokuma? Is this killing game really a show for someone? <laughs> Who can say? <sighs> Why don't you tell us we were friends during the trial? Honestly, I was just happy you guys cooperated with me. Well... Humans love to help. They jump at any opportunity to extend a helping hand. Well, then. then, there's another question. 
Who are you really? If Kokichi, a remnant of the spare, is not the mastermind, then who is the true mastermind? Is it another remnant of the spare like him? Ahem. I'm not gonna spill the beans on a perfect to be continued cliffhanger like the. Why, you are just too cute. What? Oh, really? Hey. God, is it is Himiko actually the mastermind? I understand Kokichi's plan, but why did you agree to work with him, Kaito? Why did you agree to kill Kokichi? Because he saved your life? You should have just ignored him. He's better off dead anyway. Nah. It was kind of hard to ignore such an annoying guy. Huh? What? Jeez, I wonder how far ahead he planned this evil scheme of his. What? Yeah, but killing you? Don't screw around. What are you talking about? You want me to kill you? Ah. I figured you'd react like that. But are you sure you're okay with that? <laughs> because if this poison kills me, then Maki would become the Blacken. And their crime would be exposed so easily. Well, you know. If that happened, then Maki and I would have died for no reason, right? Which is just what the true mastermind expects. What? Damn it, that's playing dirty. So that's why you gave me the antidote. <laughs> I am the ultimate supreme leader. There are no depths I won't sink to. <laughs> Even if I have to sacrifice myself. Anyway, this is our chance. Our chance to end this killing game. Ruin this killing game. That's why you have to kill me so we can win and ruin this killing game. We'll bring the true mastermind and everyone who's watching. We'll bring them down to utter despair. Then everyone who died can rest in peace. Ha ha ha. Oh crap, I'm gonna die soon. Can we get this started already? Damn. You're seriously crazy, dude. <laughs> but you know. At least I wasn't boring, right? Oh uh, yeah? Sure. Then he blackmail you by using me. No, I agreed to his plan once I heard the words screw in this killing game. He was crazy, but that let him come up with some crazy plans. And he needed a crazy plan in order to stand a chance against Monokuma. I bet on that chance I didn't have any other choice. Because I'm out of time. Time? Kaito, you mean your health. What are you talking about? But you said you were fine. You told me not to worry about it anymore. Am I bad? That was a lie. Huh? A, a lie? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Honestly, I'm at my limit just talking. <laughs> no, it can't be. But you know. I gotta wonder how this happened. I don't remember at all. In my memories, I was fine during the medical exam for my training. If he was fine during the medical exam, then that means... Could it be... This might be the virus. What? Virus? But we are all immune, right? If I remember correctly... One of the plagues that caused our planet to crumble. A virus carried by meteorites that spread across the globe. Hope Speak Academy, along with the rest of the planet, was in danger of extinction. Even though we had to come, we'd come so far and triumphed over so much despair, we were almost swept out in an instant. Could it be? This must have something to do with the virus. Kaito didn't use that flashback light, so he might not remember it. But weren't we supposed to be immune? We were selected because we didn't... Well, Perhaps the vir virus was dormant when you were selected for the gopher project. To tell you, the truth. you could have been infected the whole time, showing no symptoms until very recently. Radical 6. This mentioned seriously, like... Okay, yeah, let's... let's sure. What did you say? Strike 9, I mean, sorry. What? <sighs> Kaito's infected. Kaito's infected with the virus, but how could that be? Jeez. I don't know what you're talking about, but I guess I'm pretty screwed, huh? Well, I guess this was coming. That's why I agreed to Kokichi's plan. But you know, but you know, when I found out about that plan, I thought it was pretty awesome. Hey, so Kokichi left me with a whole outline of it. I freaked out when I read it. He planned this ahead? It's a pretty good plan. I thought we might be able to trick Monokuma. <laughs> but I knew Suichi'd see right through it in the end. What? Well done. Ah, yeah, that's exactly how it went. Nice job, Shuichi. You're really something. Well then. Kaito, did you? That's right. Yeah, I knew you guys would figure everything out. Got it. That's why I was able to get on board with Kokichi and lie about to you like that. Even if I messed up during the trial, I knew Shuichi see the truth. That's my sidekick. 
Just what I expect from my sidekick. Why? Why? If you knew I'd see through it, why? Then... If you knew it was pointless from the start, then you shouldn't have gone that far. Nah, it wasn't pointless. It ended up being a huge success. Why? I mean... Because of this plan and Kakichi pretending to be the mastermind, got we got closer to the true mastermind's lair. Beyond this truth, there's gotta be a hint that leads to the real truth. Huh? Real truth? Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. That's why Kokichi gave his life. You talk as if he was your partner when you hated him so strongly before. What? Oh, I hate his guts. Honestly, I'm still pissed off at him. He made us go through so much crap to the end. No, even beyond that. He was a lying sack of shit. Hey. It's getting harder to breathe, so please, can you? Hey, so I gotta ask you one thing. You want to ruin this killing game, but... Kept saying how fun this game was. That was a lie, obviously. How could a game that you're forced to play be fun? I had to think this game was fun to survive. I had to lie to myself. You little... The bastard who created this game to toy with our lives and the shit's enjoying it. They all piss me off. Shit! That's why I'm willing to do whatever it takes to end this game. Kokichi okay, said that. That could have been a lie too. He probably just said it so I'd cooperate with him. Hmm. Was it really a lie? I think his dying words may have been the honest truth. It's a lie. No, it's definitely a lie. He's not the type to shed real tears. But... I wonder which one it is. A lie or the truth? Even now at the very end, I don't really understand Kokichi. Maybe that's what lying is all about. The truth is in the eye of the beholder, huh? Kokichi was the very embodiment of a lie. That pretty much wraps up my explanation. Now, finally, I need to apologize to Shuichi. Huh? What, me? I mean... To be honest, I was jealous of you. Huh? Jealous? That's right. Because you were always saving us, you know? Your detective skills kept us alive. You're just way too cool and I got frustrated. My bad. So that's why I was so harsh on you. My bad. That's wrong. Hey, no, Kaido, that's not true. Hey. I was only so confident because you were there for me, Kaido. When you made me your sidekick, you said that you'd take responsibility. And that that's why I can do all this. If you didn't talk to me back then, even now I'd be... Oh. <coughs> oh, oh boy, is he just gonna die here? No punishment time. <sighs> Kaito. Kaito! What? Kaito, are you okay? How can I be okay? I'm about to die. Okay. You sure are, Bako, because it's punishment time. Uh, punishment? I won't let you. I won't let you kill him. I won't let you kill Kaito. Oh? You plan to get in my way? You know what will happen if you do that, don't you? So what? I don't care what happens. I plan to kill you anyway from the start. Indeed. Yes, I've been determined to fight back for a while now. No, stop. Kaido. No, Kaido, I can't. I can't let you die, Kaido. That's it. I don't care if you're sick. I don't care if you're dying. I won't let Monokuma touch you. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. That more. What was that? What's well, so funny? Oh, I was just thinking about life and how irreplaceable it is. Know what I mean? Huh? What? Hmm. When your life ends, those closest to it mourn. But if you could somehow recycle that life, then those closest to it wouldn't need to mourn anymore, right? That's nice. If we could recycle life, the world would be filled with hope. That's my point. Hey. What are you talking? Hey. All right, kids. Time's for your grand re-entrance. Oh no. I have to do their voices again. Oh, fuck me. Rise and shine, your sign. With our powers combined, we are the Monocast. I didn't miss the Rise and Shiner sign. But not anything else. I'm Monotaro. No matter how you read it or spell it or say it, it's still Monotaro. Hmm. What the? That's totally a lie. By the way. What the hell's going on? I could have swore that there was more of your champs before. Hell yeah! 
Fuck it, I know. Let's destroy him onto them now. This sad sack is bumming me the fuck out. What did you say? What the hell? Weren't all the monocubes completely destroyed? Hey, um... Those old monocubes were destroyed. These monocubes are the latest model. They still got their factory settings, so in the way, it's like they're brand new characters. Thank you so much. Oh, who cares? Now that my cubs are back, I'm not lonely and miserable anymore. You brought them back on a whim like that? You guys are just as replaceable. Maybe not as replaceable as the monocubs. Finding other people to participate in this killing game is easier than you might think. Finding other people? I got no idea what's going on and what any of this means, but that's right. Hell yeah, it was so fucking lovable and shit, except Monodam, of course. Oh, do you know what else this means? Now that the mother cubs are back, I've got my eggs assault and entourage protecting me again. They wanted to find me now. This is bad if he's got the eggs assaults again. So what? I won't let you kill him. It doesn't matter. I won't let you kill Kaido. I'll fight until the end. Stop! Even if you fight the eggs assaults, you'll get killed. Damn it! The remote control and the last electro bomb were crushed in the press. No, uh, no I won't give up. Akiro, enough already. Oh, okay. I've never felt this way before. I've always fought to kill, but this is the first time I've fought to protect someone. And I've never been given a nickname like Makiro before either. You. And I've never met someone as stubborn as you before. Oh, Maki. And I've never... Fallen for someone before. Is this like the most direct shit they've all they've ever done? What? Maki roll, Maki. No. I don't want this to end. I just don't. I won't let you kill him. That's why I won't let you kill Kaido. I absolutely won't let you. My bad. Maki roll. I'm sorry, but that's not an option. You don't have as much time left as you think. I'm fighting just to stay standing. I but I... Hey, so... hey Mackerel, I asked you before, what's your enemy? Before, you hated yourself so much, you didn't even like yourself a little. And that wasn't the reason you tried to distance yourself from others? That's right. You decided that you didn't deserve to have friends, didn't you? That was your enemy. Don't worry about it. But not anymore, huh? You're alright now. <laughs> you fell for a guy like me. Now you can learn to like yourself. Oh, Maki. <laughs> Best girl. Best girl. Come on, man. So, some weird tasted man, but best girl. Hey, hey, don't cry. Can't you send me off with one last smile? I believe in you. You guys too. I'm not gonna allow any tears. Send me off with a bang. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shoot your balls out of gun and shoot. <laughs> All right, Kaido. I won't cry. I'll it. Me too. I'm gonna hold it in. <laughs> yeah, I'll endure it. I... I can cry, even if I wanted to. <sighs> hey, sorry about the way, Monokuma. You can go ahead and start now. Okay. Can do. Dong, dong, dong. Oh boy, my first punishment time. I've never seen one before. Right. Let me just say this to the true mastermind controlling Monokuma. You better get ready, my friends aren't gonna lose to you. That's all. Please. I'll leave the rest to you guys. End this ridiculous killing game. Please do not worry. We will end it, so please, don't worry. Shuichi. And Shuichi, never forget, you're not alone. You have friends, don't try to do everything by yourself, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, Kaido, okay. The impossible is possible. Don't forget, the impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Kaido. Oh, Maki. How long are you gonna cry? You should spot. I can't. That's impossible. I can't. <laughs> of course, my bad for making you cry like that. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's end this with a bang. Momota, luminary of the stars. A special punishment suited to the luminary of the stars. Don't get to tell me. I'm excited to get this started. Get 
Oh yeah, well screw you. I'm not gonna die the way you want. He's just gonna pull a gun and kill himself. Oh, this is a callback for one again. Oh my god. Really? Blasting off, second ignition. Yeah, this is a reference to the first game. Oh, get fucked by the cover. What? Yeah, get fucked, you little bear. Get fucked. Oh, that was good. Fuck you. He died before he could cause the spare, you bitch. <laughs> Hi, Tor. Oh, oh god. Right? Tibor, are you okay? You got hit by the other breeze when you protect. Well. I am fine, more importantly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I could play that again. Hey. What's the matter, Monokuma? Upset the Kaito one? Yeah. What do you mean, Kaito one? You died before the end of your punishment. Kaito didn't die from your execution. Okay. That's right, Kaito wasn't killed by you. Yeah. It's Kaito's victory. Yeah. We lost. I don't know if we meant to do it, but the the certainly went out like a stubborn jackass. Well, whatever, it's not like this is the end of the killing game, so it's fine. What was that? It's not over? Hell yeah. No shit. Hey. Ain't it right written in the school regulations? Right. The killing game will go on until there is just one black and or two spotless. Hmm. School regulations, so you're gonna follow the regulations, huh? The only reason you want the rules is because you're showing this to someone. Well. I just want an entertaining killing game, but you're certainly entitled to your opinion. That's wrong. That's enough. Enough of your bullshit, Monokuma. I made a promise to Kaido. I'll end this killing game. That's it. To give Kaido's death meaning, I swear I will keep my promise. You're right. Yeah, we're not going to let anyone else die. Mm. Who's ever gonna play the that game anymore? It's already over. Uh, I guess Kibo. Mm. Could cut the tension with a knife. What's everyone talking about anyway? Well, actually... Feels like we're stumbling to the last act. I don't know what's happening at all. Phyllisin, you wanna help you out? Oh, Monosuke is acting nice. He's sucking up for brownie points. So oh, I just can't help myself around my little, cute little cubs. <laughs> Get around, kids. I'll spend a whole month telling you about what you missed. A whole month? Won't that take longer than the whole chapter? My little cubs. I'll tell you all about it while I smother you with hugs and kisses. You kids go on ahead and wait for me at home. So yeah, okay. Why did I stay behind? Because I want to give you all a reward for working so hard. We don't want to just go away. Really By the way, I don't know where you got the idea that this killing game can be stopped. There's nothing a participant can do to end this killing game. 
No way, no, huh? This game is gonna keep going and going for a long time. Hearing this ranting, Monokuma took out. Huh? A flashback light? Oh shit. Um. Ugh. Okay. What did you just do? What? Was that a flashback light just now? Could it be? Is it broken? I don't feel like I remembered anything. <laughs> this flashback light has a special effect. You remember soon enough. You remember that despair is the only choice you have. <laughs> and that hope doesn't exist here at all. <laughs> the killing game will never end. And then Monokuma left. He declared that this killing game would continue. He declared there is no hope. He declared it is us. After all that, I honestly don't remember how we got back. It took all I had just to accept the reality that Kaito was gone. And not just Kaito, Kokichi too. Someone we all trusted and someone none of us trusted. We lost them both. But it wasn't all for nothing. Because we were drawing ever closer to discovering the true mastermind. You're joking. You are... Actually... Joking. You absolutely cannot be serious right now. I swear to god. I just... I swear. I... Killing game will never end. Never ever. As long as I'm around, it'll never end. It'll repeat over and over and over. Why would I let something this fun ever end? I wanted to have more fun. As long as it's fun, we have to keep doing it. That's just sim- that's simple- just- that's just simply supply and demand. Oh, for fuck's sake. Such despair. I hate this. Just, just just, leave Junko dead. Just do something else. Later that night, I found myself standing in that one spot in the courtyard. The place where Kaito and I would train together. My heart felt crushed, all the loss and guilt and helplessness sticking in my chest. But still, I, I stood there. Well... What are you doing? Ah, Maki. Hey, hey. So you came too. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Maki, I'm sorry. What? For what? Uh, um... I was the one who drove Kaito into a corner. Just like Kaede, I I end up betraying everyone important to me. It's all my fault. Well. Are you feeling lonely? Huh? Huh? Hey. Are you lonely now that Kaito is gone? Uh, okay. Yeah, lonely. I feel so lonely and so sad, I... I don't know what to do. The only reason I'm still alive right now is because of Kaito. If he hadn't been fr my, If he hadn't been my friend, I would be... That's right. Me too. I can't remember the last time I ever cried that hard. I wonder how long it's been. Okay. But I won't cry anymore. I'm sad, but I'm grateful to Kaito. Huh? Grateful? Okay. Yeah, I want to tell him that rather than being sad or lonely. I'm grateful to him. That's why I won't cry anymore. I'm not going to wallow in pity. I want to show him how much I appreciate all the things he did. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's the same for me. I want to show my appreciation too. I'm sure that our friends who've passed on don't want to see us miserable. Thanks. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ah, so you guys were here after all. Yeah. Just like I thought. I knew you guys would be here because I cast a spell to find you. Oh. Tsumigi, Himiko. Um. Um, if you don't mind, can we join you in your training? Huh? huh? <laughs> I'll train you all from the ground up so you can end this killing game together. Huh? We're going to end this together? Yeah. Himiko and I promised Kaito. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do the active promise and work together to end this killing game. Right. We can't afford to lose... We can't afford to lose this pair. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Onkuma said that there's no hope anywhere. But he's wrong. There is hope. My friends are my hope. Kaito 
Kaito said it best. I'm not alone. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh. That's right, I have friends. Not just my friends here, but also friends who have died. They all gave us their hope too. That's why I'm going to live. I want to live for everyone who died. Despair cannot defeat me. I will hold on and survive no matter what. Thank you, Kaido. Let your sweat wash away all your sadness, fear, worry, and hardships. Just start moving your body and your pain will become memories before you know it. Then you should train too. Well, I don't have anything to worry about. Because, <laughs> I mean, I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. <laughs> like how Shuichi just keeps going. Hey, no fair, Kaito. Hey! Oh, by the way. What happened to Kibo? Do you know where he went? Huh? Kibo, uh, I don't know. Yeah, what is that guy off doing? <laughs> I don't think a robot really needs to do any training. But, but the rest of us are here. I kind of wish he'd come too. But where is Kibo? It's quiet. Okay. Too quiet. Uh huh. And yet, this silence is. Quite refreshing. I used to hear my inner voice with perfect clarity. It would fill me with the power of hope, guide me along the right path. Okay. I can't hear it anymore. Yeah, that's a bit scary. All I hear now is silence. Why do you have missiles on your back? That silence means my will is now my own. Okay. Even if despair is all we have to choose. Even if hope no longer exists, I will never give in to despair. Okay, that's good. I, I will end this. Oh, okay. No matter what, I will force this to end. This school, this ultimate academy for gifted juveniles, is steeped in despair. Um. Uh... That's where all the budget went, I see. And I will destroy it. The, the academy? Okay, cool. Thanks. I guess. Well, that isn't good. Yeah. Oh, 7% of people got this? Only 7%? My god. Yes, I want to save. I will save again once uh, whatever gives me a prompt. Okay, yep. That's exactly where I'm going to finish that. I have no fucking idea what's going to happen. Oh, what does Kaito's jacket said? Uh, Mento of Kaito, it depicts his fantasy of the, of the universe. Oh. Um, yeah. Last chapter. At this point, I'm just excited to see how it ends rather than I'm excited for it to end. If that makes sense, like I'm just, I'm I'm just tired, I guess. But yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.